Hi, this is a quick lesson on Chapter 2-3, Biconditional Statements. A biconditional statement is a single statement that combines the true conditional statement, the first one that you work with, and a true converse of that conditional statement, the first one you're working with. So in notation here, we've got P implies Q. You write it as a converse, which is going to be Q implies P. And then if both of these are true, you can write it as a biconditional, where P implies Q or Q implies P. Let's go to the next page. So here, I've got an original statement that if X plus 6 is equal to 11, then you can conclude that x equals 5. P implies Q. Now, if you can write the converse, where you take Q and put that in the front, P, put that in the back, if x equals 5, then x plus 6 is equal to 11. Is that a true statement? Absolutely. So, you can then make this into a biconditional statement. All you do is you get rid of this word if, it's gone, and then in place of the then, you put this if and only if. So you just say x plus 6 is equal to 11 if and only if x is equal to 5. Or you could write it the other way around. You could say that x equals 5 if and only if x plus 6 is equal to 11. Because it's a biconditional statement. It works either way. Let's go to the next page. Okay, so I got one written here for us. Let's test it out. We start out with the biconditional. Uh, triangle is isosceles if and only if the triangle has two congruent sides. So I'll just quickly draw one of those. So, okay, we'll just sort of stretch that up into there. I'll put that off this, whatever, we'll put it over here, I guess. So, and we'll mark it congruent sides. Two sides are congruent. Okay, um, let's test the two statements individually. A triangle is isosceles, then a triangle has two congruent sides. Works for me. Now let's change the order there. Do the converse. If a triangle has two congruent sides, then the triangle is isosceles. Absolutely. So this statement, all these are true. True, true, true. All right, next page. Now we're going to write, we're going to write a biconditional statement. Given um, if a road sign is a stop sign, then it is a regular octagon. All right, so I just added a stop sign into there so we know what we're talking about. So let's see, if a road sign is a stop sign, then it is a regular octagon. Regular octagon means an eight-sided closed figure that all the sides are congruent, all the interior angles are congruent. Let's move this, this blockage thing down. Test if the converse is true. So this is our original statement. So let's flip the order there. We're going to talk about an octagon first, and then we're going to talk about a road sign and a stop sign second. So here we go, sorry. So we got a road sign. I didn't quite say that right. We're using the word road sign still in the front. If a road side sign is a regular octagon, see, that's the second part, then it is a stop sign. Beautiful. Is that true? Absolutely. So then you can write it as a biconditional. So all you're going to do is you're stripping out the if, and where the then was, you throw if and only if. So there you go. A road sign is an octagon if and only if it is a stop sign. Works for me. And that's it. Thanks for watching this short lesson.